Black Friday is just three weeks away, and that usually is the best chance to score some big Switch games on a pretty solid sale. Although, I will say, Nintendo has done a darn nifty job of putting their first party titles on sale throughout the year, throughout the years of the Switch's life cycle, and that's something that should make everyone super happy, but it should also make you super happy that two of the biggest brick and mortar store chains, Black Friday sales, have now been posted. We've got Target and Best Buy to take a look through today, and that's what we're gonna do. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force, and let's see if there are any Switch sales worth you marking your calendars for. Black Friday is always a spooky time. Early mornings, lots of customers, door busters, maybe people trying to actually break down the door, and then Amazon usually coming in to save the day and allowing you to shop online from home. Here is the Switch page, and we see at the start, $29.99 for Mario Odyssey, Mario Tennis Aces, and Zelda Breath of the Wild. These are great prices, half off for these games. Now, none of them are particularly new. They've all been on sale many times before, but usually we see like a $40 sale for these ones. I think we've seen $35. $30 is probably pushing the bottom of the floor of like the price level that we've ever received for these games. So I think if you've skipped out on any of this trio, obviously $30 is a great price point to grab them at. Let me know in the comments down below which of these games you're going to be targeting, if any appeal to you, or if you already have them and you think the price point is just too good to pass up, definitely let your friends know in the comments down below, other Switch fans. We've got down here in the $15 range, it says over 100 games, and they show Mario plus Rabbids, Kingdom Battle, they show Overcooked 2 Physical, Crash Team Racing, and Crash Bandicoot. Now, Crash Bandicoot is no stranger to sales. I feel like he is one of the most often on sale Switch games and one of the most like advertised sale Switch games. They they just put that front and center often. I believe last year though it was 20. So now we're down to 15. And $15 for Mario Plus Rabbids of course is a must buy if you don't have it. Grab that thing instantly. I gotta say that Crash Team Racing for 15 is fantastic. I know some people complained about that game's difficulty and said it wasn't that great. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really fun single player. If you don't have a lot of friends, if your Mario Kart crew has moved on, maybe they've moved out. Maybe they moved away. Crash Team Racing, uh, I think it is a stellar car racer on Switch. They've been adding a lot of free content that's really cool. A lot of new tracks, characters. The boss battles are pretty fun. They're, they're, they're fun because they're so tough. Like, they require a lot of you. And if you're not into that sort of thing, then maybe it'll be a waste. But $15 is a pretty great price point. We also see $25 for Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz HD, which just came out at $40. So that's cool. Overwatch, which... Doesn't run all that great, but if you want to grab it in anticipation of Overwatch 2, you can. Spyro down to 25. Wish that one hit 20, given that Crash was at 20 uh, for Black Friday, but 25 still on, on that list. Oh, you also got Racing with Ryan. Okay, Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz, HD. It's a pretty darn good port. They've added Sonic to the mix, if you want to do that. Over here, we've got $60 Joy-Con. Um... It says only in the color shown, which is a bit of a bummer, because this is $20 off the retail price, which would be fantastic if it was on any set of Joy-Cons, so you could go grab the purple and orange. But unfortunately, it's just the default colors. But if you do need more, if you're getting a Switch for Christmas, or you just got a Switch Lite and you want some multiplayer options, $20 off Joy-Con is pretty good. Hey, they've got Switch Lite for $200. That's the price. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that wacko Walmart sale or supposed sale, the Black Friday thing that said, hey, it's gonna be $50 off, or that's not happening. The Switch Lite will be $200 everywhere. I don't even know if they're gonna give you anything for free. I've seen that the the, the, the same bundle as last year is what's gonna be heavily advertised, so we're talking that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle where you get the Switch plus Mario Kart 8 Deluxe free. Like, that's still a fine deal because it's giving you a game for free, but Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is gonna be down probably like $30 or less, maybe, probably $30. I don't know that Nintendo will go much lower for any of their first-party stuff, um, but I don't think we're going to get many Switch console sales of any sort. I, I don't even know if they're going to give you a better free game than, than Mario Kart. You know, that's a fantastic game, I just mean from the standpoint that its its value isn't that high given that it's a, a year one release. Okay, you can also save $5 on online. $15 is pretty darn great for Nintendo Switch Online. Whatever you want to say about the service and what they offer, getting access to the SNES library, the NES library, and then being able to play multiplayer for $15 and grab stuff like Tetris 99 for free and whatever they choose to add in 29 or 2020, I, I like that a lot. All right, let's move to Best Buy. They've got things organized 
a bit more uh, website oriented instead of the ad itself. But hey, look, you get a free screen protector with this Switch console bundle, and there it is, $300. The same bundle, I believe, last year, the same photo. So I don't even know if this is the better battery life Switch V2. I think this might just be leftover stock from last year. Okay, Pokemon Sword and Shield are 60 bucks. That is no sale. Switch Lite is gonna be 200. Get the Pokeball down to 20 if you wanna grab that. $39.99 for select Switch titles. So already Target is getting the one up because they've got Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Mario Party, and Splatoon 2 for 40. That's kind of the typical price. Again, with these with these sales, like Nintendo has done such a good job this generation of putting their games on sale and not just falling into the typical like evergreen $60 forever. If it has Mario on the front cover, it's gonna be 60. They've dropped their prices, so the Black Friday sales are not as exciting because, like I said, Nintendo will not go that much lower than 30 bucks. But $30 for these games is still really good. 40, I mean, it's been there many times before, so it doesn't really get me that excited. They've got Crash for 20, Lego DC Super Villains for 20, Rocket League for 20, Lego Harry Potter for 20. These are all the typical suspects, right? All these games are always on sale for $20. And for better or worse, I think that's what you're gonna see a lot of this Black Friday is games that have been on sale, on sale, just all at once, which is fine, which is fun, which is good, you know, if you're gift giving or trying to uh, grow your library, but I don't think you're gonna see anything crazy. Bloodstained Ritual of Night at 20, get that thing fixed up and that's probably a fun deal. Civilization 6, it's been 20 before, but that's a good price. Um, Killer Queen Black for 20 physical, if you like that, End of the Gungeon, 20 physical. These aren't great deals by any stretch, but they're deals, I guess. Uh, we got some Pokemon controllers, we got a Pokemon case, they're not even really on sale. Um, down here, we've got $14.99 or less select family favorites. Starling for $9.99, the starter pack, I... This is a great deal, it honestly is. It's been this low before, but it's one really worth picking up. It's really good, and if you want to uh, get excited for the Outer Worlds, I know this is a strange connection to make, but Virtuous, the, the company porting Outer Worlds for Private Division to Switch, also did the Starlink Switch port. They also did Dark Souls on Switch. Um, we've got NBA 2K Playgrounds 2, don't recommend that. Rayman Legends been this price before. Scribblenauts Mega Pack, $15. It's not a bad game, but it's been that low before. $24.99, we get a little bit better variety. Diablo 3. It's a great game. It's great on Switch. 25, it's not as inspiring as I'd like. Overwatch is 25, just like we saw at Target. Nino Kuni. Now, here is finally something really nice. Half off for Nino Kuni. It's not my favorite JRPG in the world, but I love the art sound. It's got some cool ideas. And, I mean, it's it's half price. So, that's the kind of stuff that we've been seeking out. Final Fantasy 12 is 25. Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2 is 25. Um... DQ Builders 2 25. If that if that is the Switch version as well, that's fantastic. I, I don't know 100 percent but I'm guessing given the fact that Nino Kuni 2 or Nino Kuni is 25, the the remastered edition on PS4 and then the Switch version 25, I'm guessing DQ Builders 2 will be 25. DQ Builders 2 at 25 and Nino Kuni at 25 are the two deals you should target at Best Buy. Both of those are really, really nice. The rest of the stuff kind of take it or leave it. You got 20 to 50% off accessories here. So if you are looking for screen protectors, cases, charging docks, things of that sort, that might be nice. Um, we've got Aladdin and the Lion King collection for $10 off. That's not too terrible. Again, if you're trying to get physical with Hollow Knight, The Witcher is $15 off. That's not too bad. Ooh, I like Ukulele and the Impossible Layer for 20, the physical version, if you want to add that uh, to your shelf instead of your digital eShop's shelf. We've got Yu-Gi-Oh! for half off. Sonic Team, or Team Sonic Racing for half off if you want to dabble. Although, again, I highly recommend Crash Team Racing for 15. So right now, Target is really delivering a knockout punch to Best Buy in terms of their sales. We'll have to wait and see what the other stores concoct. Walmart will definitely come in with something. Amazon may have a few deals of their own. They will definitely match most, if not all, of these things. But I do really like what I see here. Best Buy feels like the same old, same old. Target, though, doing it, it better. $30 on some of the big guns, 15 on some fantastic titles. I'd be curious whatever else they've got, because remember, it does say over 100 games. So there's got to be more Switch games. They're only showing a handful here. It looks like... It looks like 
I mean, if we also get, based on what's showing, if we get Overwatch, well, no, Overwatch and Switch is 25 there, but if, like, Aladdin the Lion King collection for 15, that's pretty nice, and then whatever other Switch games, and it says 40 games down here for 25, so, I mean, there's some really good deals elsewhere, like Control at 25, Plants vs. Zombies at 25, and then there's 30 games at 30, here they've got DQ Builders 2 at 30, so Best Buy does get the one up there, FIFA 20 on Switch for 30, I forgot to mention that, the first time around, so I'll have to pay attention to see as this list expands, but right now, game sales at Target looking real good. Don't expect much on the console front as evidenced by Best Buy touting that Mario Kart 8 bundle based on what I've been hearing, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited by any of these? Does it help you know that you're going to get something good for super cheap, or maybe it just adds one to your Christmas list? Mark it down for your mom and see what happens. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We'll keep you posted as we near Black Friday. It's crazy to think that December is three weeks away. It's crazy to think that Pokemon is a week away. Pokemon Sword and Shield, the games we've been gunning for, are finally going to get delivered. Cannot wait for that. I'll have lots of coverage for you. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day. Until next time, Switch Force, out.